Nothing makes the narcissist crazier than this. Nothing makes them more mad and insane. There are a lot of things that make the narcissist crazy. There are a lot of things that get under their skin and affect them with madness and insanity. But there is one thing that trumps everything else. There is one thing that really frustrates the narcissist. And that is a person who they cannot manipulate. A person who can see through them. Especially if it is a person that they want. When that happens, the narcissist will feel a sense of loss. Especially if this is a person they highly admire and respect. Or someone that they are physically attracted to. It causes them to feel powerless and helpless. It reminds them that they are not the all-powerful, all-knowing character that they think they are. It humbles them. It brings them back to reality. And while they may obsess over this person, they won't try to pursue them because they know they haven't got a chance. They know there's nothing they can do to win them over. Especially if they have strong boundaries. Because they're not easy to influence and overcome. They're not easy to fool. They're not willing to accept standards that are lower than they desire. And sometimes this may cause a narcissistic injury. Because narcissists are very arrogant and entitled. They believe that they are deserving of whatever they want, just because they want it. So they will feel like they're being limited and restricted. They will feel denied and rejected. And they don't like how that feels. Nothing hurts a narcissist more than rejection. But a person who is not susceptible to the narcissist manipulation is likely to not be afraid of them. Because they see through them, they realize it's just a front. So they will confront them. They will express their disapproval. They will call them out. And this will really get under the narcissist's skin because this person's presence is restricting their behavior. So the narcissist will feel very uncomfortable. They may even begin to walk on eggshells or they may try to woo this person. They may try to win them over but it's not going to work because they're going to see through what the narcissist is trying to do and they're not going to buy into it. They're not going to fall for the false image which will make the narcissist feel irrelevant and unimportant because they are removed from consideration. They're denied access because this person wants nothing to do with them. They can sense that something is wrong. But this person may often have what the narcissist wants. They may be very successful. They may be physically attractive to the narcissist. And the narcissist wants to partake in that. They want to be a part of it. 
so they will become very envious and jealous of this person. They may try to downplay their success. They may try to criticize them. But this person is not going to care. They're not going to be concerned about what the narcissist thinks of them. So the narcissist will be unable to influence their emotions. They will be unable to control them. And the narcissist cannot coexist with those who they cannot affect or control. Especially people who are genuinely happy and people who find fulfillment in little things. Because that is a threat to the narcissist's delusions of grandiosity. It makes them irrelevant. Because they like to brag and boast about their accomplishments. They like to argue and complain. They like to create drama and chaos. But they can't do that around someone who is optimistic and focuses on the solution rather than the problem. Nothing makes the narcissist crazier than this. Nothing makes the narcissist crazier than someone who is not susceptible to their manipulation. The narcissist is fake. And they have to pull other people into their false reality, into their alternate world. Which is why people who are authentic are a threat to the narcissist. They're like sunlight to a vampire. They're like kryptonite. The narcissist hates authentic people. They want everyone to be fake because authenticity has the power to expose them, which is why they hate truth tellers and free thinkers. So the narcissist will try to avoid them because they hate the truth. The truth is a threat to them. They may try to turn people against this person. They may try to find people who also envy them so that they can team up and try to destroy them. Because they see them as a threat to the illusion, to the fake world that they have created, to the fantasy bubble that they are living in. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.